What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B, and you're watching Dave Beyond TV, where we go beyond that everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day to day basis. And today I want to talk about um, this is kind of like character part two, but this is knowing your position and playing your part, right? So, you know, we already talked about knowing yourself. Question of the day is like, have you done the work to know yourself? And I don't mean knowing yourself as far as you know, your career or something like that, or what you do is like knowing your deep internal self, like knowing who you really are on a core level, you know? Um, but this is an ongoing process. We are always learning ourselves, you know, learning new things that we want in our space or things that we don't want in our space. You know, this is a spiritual journey. You know, there's not a one light switch thing where it's like, oh, I, whoop, I know myself now. No, it's like a thing where you're constantly molding who you are based upon your experiences and your spiritual experiments, you know what I'm saying, which are your experiences. But, yeah, so... Um, the thing about life, right? Life is all about the P. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the P. And what is the P? This is perception, right? Or your positioning and purpose within the parameter. So the parameter is like the space. You know, parameter is is, is like, you know, you could take parameter all like as when we start talking about God, like this is the realm of all possibilities. This is the parameter, right? So it is knowing your knowing yourself is like knowing your perception. AKA your position, because you know, life is all about angling and how we're looking at things, your perception of things, but it's knowing your position in a in w within the parameter. You know, if you know your position as an individual, then you can find your peace and your perception of the overall parameter, AKA the realm of all possibilities or God, if you will, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't want to attach God because when I start throwing God out there, you might be start jumping into your religious text. You know what I'm saying? Like get that twitch, you know what I'm saying? And jump to your religion. Like, look, look, we, we not talking about religion. What you believe in is what you believe in, but I'm, I'm speaking in energy. I'm speaking spiritually. We talking about the realm of all possibilities. God, you know what I'm saying? That, that, you know, all space, you know, not, not just what your perception of God is, you know what I'm saying? So let's continue and let's get it straight, you know what I'm saying? Don't be in the comments talking about your religion. I don't care. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway um, so, yeah. So, when, you know, when we talk about um, perception in general, this is this is how we're looking at things. And, and you already know how you're looking at something is basically a sign of what you're going to be creating. Because uh, how we're looking at things, this starts to play off in our thought forms which is the lightest form of manifestation and then it comes it, once you attach to a thought form you you give a feeling to it and those feelings come into density as emotions and once you start feeling certain ways about certain things and attach to these things these become a part of you and you produce them you know what i'm saying they end up manifesting through however you're uh reacting and responding to them and that's kind of like your superpower down here is how you could take something that's completely from your imagination and make it real and this is yeah our greatest dreams but also nightmares too so think about that next time you holding on to a bunch of negative feelings you're just going to produce that that's just what you're going to manifest is a lot of negative situations coming in the way of how you were looking at something perception rules everything this is how two people could be born in the hood but one person just because of how they look at life can end up being a lot more successful and the other person can end up being a bum you know what I'm saying, on the street, and it's just based upon how they was looking at life and how they were looking at their talents. Now, we all have different talents and gifts in different areas, but, you know, it really comes down, it like, nigga, you, it don't matter what you got, that's what you got, that's the hand you dealt, but if you could, if you think of a very cool way to, you know, a very uh, strong-ass way to look at these things that you have, no matter what it is, you can, you can make a, a diamond, you know what I'm saying? You can make a diamond out of some sand. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. But that's based upon how powerful of a spirit you are. You know what I'm saying? And that's why perception is everything. You know what I'm saying? How are you looking at the world? Are you looking at the world in a, in a negative way where you are incapable and can't do nothing? Or are you looking at the world like, man, it's my oyster. Nigga, I could, I, I could just show up and get a million dollars. Like, are you looking at it like that or the vice versa? You know? And, you know... These things come scared, you know, these things get a little blurry because when we start talking about people who are delusional or maybe uh, have a, you know, uh, delusions of grandeur, you know, what I'm saying, which is just like somebody who sees things way bigger than they really are or see themselves in a, in a way bigger way than they really are. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's not all bad, you know what I'm saying? Because it, it's, it's, 
even if it don't play out down here on some level, you know what I'm saying? If they build in that spaceship for themselves spiritually, when they die, that's what they're going to experience is going to that place where they were the shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's getting deeper into things. You know, we're going to keep it on point. So um, going further, you know, so when we talk about perception, uh, mutable signs really rule perception. You know, immutable, that's the, uh, you know, that's your Pisces for water uh, and a.k.a. the way you, you know, way you feel about something uh and then air gemini you know thinking and communicating and then earth we were just talking about virgo um you know reality and uh making sense out of things practicality um and then finally uh sagittarius which is seeing things you know broad ways of philo ph philosophy spirituality uh looking at god in many different ways so you know perception is ruled by the mutable signs because these are all signs of having multiple ways of looking at something you know what i'm saying and that's why also like you know when when, when you're looking at modalities and the flow of the nail chart you know it naturally goes from aries right which is the spark the, it always starts with a cardinal then it goes into fix which is stability aka taurus and then it goes into that perception which it also is uh transformation because you know it, because there's many different ways of looking at something it opens the door for transformation and that's the thing about our perceptions they can change a lot of times people find one perception and get comfortable within it and then that's all they can look at the world through that lens and then you know this this translates to things outside of the zodiac like religion you know what i'm saying you pick one way of looking at life and you cling on to that and you think that's law you know what i'm saying but all you know that's kind of like going in reverse you know perception is supposed to open the door for possibility to spark something new and then, you know, you experience it in the fixed modality. That's when you're supposed to be fixed, when you're experiencing it, gaining that knowledge and wisdom from it, and then transform it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people find one way of looking at life, and they try to stick with it their whole life. And it's like, you know, sometimes you got to switch it up, especially if it's not manifesting anything of value to you. You know, if it's if it's manifesting good things in your life and you pleased with it, then sure, you know, stay, you know, don't don't break with, you know, don't uh, try to fix what's not broken. You know what I'm saying? Keep that shit. But I'm just speaking for people who are going through turmoil, but are continuously looking at something through the same fucked up lens. Change how you looking at it and maybe it'll change. You know, I'm pretty sure it'll change because that's how the world works. You know what I'm saying? Getting back to the peas, you know, um. You know, Virgo is the ruler of precision, you know what I'm saying, of this realm. And it's the mother of this realm, you know, precision. It's the other P word, you know. And when we talk about being pretentious, this is like, you know, feeling like you can play all positions. But, you know, you got to understand that, you know, there's different, like, you as an individual have strengths and weaknesses. And if you don't think you have weaknesses, you probably re a real weak motherfucker because you don't even know the spots and areas in which you need help. And see, the thing about life is that teamwork makes the dream work, you know. And, of course, when you're doing something for the first time, you do have to do it alone. But, see, it, it, a lot of times, like, that doesn't have to stay. This goes with my conversation, I just like what I just said. You know, sometimes you got to change your perception as your experiences change. Things around you are changing. Why aren't you changing? You know what I'm saying? And now there, there's a difference between changing because the world around you is changing. Like, where now you're changing because, like, you want to put the change into your hands. So you want to be the first to change and change in the way you need to change for your own individual spirit, not use the, ex yeah, not get changed by the external environment like peer pressure or something just because a bunch of other people are doing something one way around you now, you feel like you got to switch up. It's like you got to kind of be wise on your own and know when to change and when, not, you know, when to stay stuck, you know, people coming around doubting your dreams and now you want to change your dreams. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. But, Things are changing around you. It's a it's an energy shift, and you have to now move a different way. In order, you know, what I'm saying you you started in a space where it was just by yourself, but now you got people who are actually willing to help you. Yeah, change a little bit and start including people. Learn it. Learn how to switch with the right times. You know, but that's 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 more of a uh, you know that's a deeper science. You know, what I'm saying that we'll probably talk about more. But you know, for now, you know that's that's the thing. You know, you you gotta. You gotta be wise about it but um yeah so you know knowing your position and playing your part so like i said life is about perception and you know when it when we go further into this like when you really know yourself you'll know be where your position is within whatever it is that you're doing and see the good thing is like 
hopefully you'll start to attract people who are also, you know, either on your same wavelength or in and that soul group, or maybe they won't be on your same wavelength. But, you know, if they're the right person or any person, really, you'll be able to see what position they play. And, you know, they might not be, you know, exactly like you or, you know, on the same path you're on. But if y'all can find somewhere to relate and you can see where their position is and their, you know, their position is beneficial to you and you know where your position is, this is where teamwork can make the dream work, a.k.a. finding that balance, like I was just saying. You know what I'm saying? Two people who are on opposite spectrums, y'all could balance each other out, you know what I'm saying? Or it could be a tug-of-war match where y'all are just fighting for the control, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you know your position and this person is someone that you resonate with and they resonate with you, you can you can take over the world in a sense, you know what I'm saying, based upon you knowing your position, you knowing yourself, and someone else knowing themselves. And that's the key. A lot of times we end up dealing, especially in business, with people who don't even know themselves. And so we got to be careful on that end and make sure that we're surrounding ourselves with people who actually have a purpose and know themselves and know their purpose and know their position. Because without person knowing that position and you knowing your position, y'all won't even know how to relate. And when we talk about relationships, you know, that, like I said, it's all about angles. It's all about angles and alignments, how you're aligning someone, how you're hitting it, how you're approaching it. You know what I'm saying? If someone doesn't, someone doesn't rub you the right way, that means that they angling you in a way that you're not really comfortable with, or they hitting you from an angle that you can't even really pinpoint, or you're not really, you don't want to be hit there. You know what I'm saying? They rubbing you the wrong way. And you could be hitting other people the wrong way. So this is knowing yourself knows how you relate to other people and know how, how your energy comes off. So you know, okay, I, this person seems like this. Uh, and it's like, you know, it's a bit of prejudging, but you don't want to prejudge and get stuck in that. You know what I'm saying? Prejudging is only helpful when you're about to jump into a situation. But once you're in it and you're experiencing it, you got to let those judgments go. You know what I'm saying? Like, let them go because you're experiencing now. So you, you got to be able to change your perception as you go. You know what I'm saying? But back to my point, it's just like, you know, that's why it's important to know yourself, uh, know your element, know how your element reacts to other elements. And, you know, but, you know, it's a spiritual thing at the same time, too. So y'all could be two good elements, but not even coincide with each other in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, just spiritually, y'all might not be rubbing shoulders right or y'all might, might not be angling each other right you know what i'm saying and like going back um yeah so you know yeah it's all about it's all that that's what it's all about really so you know that's just a quick video and then benefits also like to know and to playing your part and knowing your position right is ultimately if you play your part well enough you'll be able to manifest more things that actually fit you when people don't know their position or don't know their they don't know their character and they don't know what position they want to play and they end up playing positions that don't coincide with what they truly tr truly like or truly resonate with this ends up them manifesting a bunch of shit that they don't even know what to do with and you, now you receiving a bunch of shit that's like damn well I have an abundance of this but this ain't even really fulfilling me this ain't really even what I wanted in the end it's not really worth it and so the benefit of knowing yourself and playing your position knowing your part and playing your position you end up being in the right space at the right time getting the right thing that you feel as though oh this is exactly what I had wanted you know what I'm saying so this is all about manifesting things that go into your favor rather than manifesting a bunch of bullshit that you're like what am I gonna do with this now I can't get jiggy with this shit you know what I'm saying? So that's just uh that's just a, a quick video. I keep hitting this thing, man. Damn. <laughs> it's just a quick video, real quick. Um, you know, talking about uh the power of the P, you know, knowing your position and knowing how to play your part, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, we always gonna go deeper, you know what I'm saying? Uh much love. If you wanna know more about your position, uh, you know, whether you're trying to gain status in your career or you know, whatever you're trying to do, hit me up on uh, IG or Twitter, Dave Beyond TV, or send me an email at DaveBeyond95 at gmail.com, and I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. Much love and peace.